Welcome back, Joe, again here from Bear World Aquatics. Man, we got a lot going on. So as you can see, the garage is coming together. Get the trusses up, and we started putting on some OSB, so that's looking good. But we got a lot going on in this place. Not only is that happening, now I've come up with a crazy idea over here. So for a while now, actually, here's those two pieces of acrylic that Josh brought over from Ohio Fish Rescue, him and Clinton, a while ago. They've been sitting there, but I've always had kind of a, an idea here that I wanted to do within this area here, this rock formation. We built this wall probably about uh, two years ago, and you can see what it really does here. It's... Uh, Designed for the stairs. Now all of this is nothing but base. And eventually all the, the stone here, all the blocks are going to get a uh, that stone veneer. That'll be on the front face. And then we're going to put sandstone cappers on the top. And I think that's going to look pretty sweet once it's complete. So we dug the footers. We made the, like a trench footer. And then we started laying this block. So we got one heck of a base for a retaining wall here. But this piece of glass I came across a couple years ago, it's kind of an odd dimension, but it's uh, 86 inches long and it's 39 inches tall and it's three quarter thick beveled. And man, is that thing heavy. So I always kind of knew that what I wanted to do was a build a little ornamental pond right here. So we're going to move these two pieces of acrylic and we are going to cut out a section of this wall probably like right here roughly and install that piece of glass and then dig out inside here and make a pond. So a buddy of mine's gonna be here a little bit. You guys have seen him in a couple of other videos, Cody. Cody is bringing a machine over. Let me get up inside here. And we are going to remove about 40 rocks that we also came across. Some pretty heavy boulders here. And we just threw them up inside here probably two seasons ago just to get them out of the way. And I think what's going to happen is me, Jack, and Cody are going to relocate them right over here in this area. All right, guys, uh, Cody's arrived with his uh, little Kubota there. And uh, we're going to pick up these rocks and put them right here on these rubber pads for now. I think that'll work out well. So let's go ahead and get this area clear and get ready for Joey, who's going to be here on Monday night. Gotta get all these boulders out of the way. Alright guys, the job is done. Thank God for Cody. You wouldn't think that little machine could do it, but boy, it did it. That was not easy. But we got it. We got a pile of rocks right here. There's some big boys in there. When you're picking up the back tires on the tractor, you know you're heavy. And then the other pile is right here. All right, guys, day two. Here we go. The machine has showed up. John's here. He's going to help. He's going to help. He's going to have a cup of coffee in his hand and sit and stare. <laughs> All right, so I went to Hand Your Rents this morning. Picked up this big old bobcat. And uh, this is going to be it. This is going to be a machine that digs uh, the hole here for the pond. So. This should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get this thing off the trailer and get set up.
All right, here's a quick update. As you can see, we got ourselves a big old pile of dirt going on here. We threw a couple of sheets of OSB on the ground here just to protect the concrete pad. I did not want to screw this up by no means. So threw down four sheets of OSB, and we put some dirt on top of that so I can ride the tracks right up on top. But what we're trying to do right now is expose this wall. We're trying to get to the back side of the wall so we can get the concrete saw in there and cut out the section where the glass is going to go in. Here's the first line right here. Here is the center. And here is the other end. I believe we're 86 inches from left to right. And what we're going to do is put angle iron back here, weld something up to capture that glass. But right now the main thing is to dig this out Kind of get in the zone where we want to be, but really open up the back section of this wall so we can cut it out. Then I can actually get cl closer with the uh, with the machine. But we're off to a pretty good start. So what we've done was pulled out some angle iron. This is some heavy duty angle iron. This is four inch by four inch. Probably a wall thickness of about quarter inch, if not pushing three eighths. So. After doing some math here, so there's the center. The piece of glass itself is 86 inches long by 39 inches tall, three quarter inches thick. We were going to deduct the four inches right here. But after conversation with all of us here, we're thinking about now giving ourselves a more viewing window. So instead of 78 inches from here to the opposite side, here, we're going to push it out two inches. So we really only need about this much right here, which is about two and five eighths, almost, almost two and three quarter of gluing surface on this angle iron. We don't really need to bury that glass up inside here. So by, by doing this, we're going to go from a 78-inch viewing window to an 80-inch viewing window, which should look pretty good in the end. So we're going to back these lines up one inch, and we're going to now cut over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow.
All right, guys, we got the wall cut out. That turned out pretty good. I just got done chipping away this corner over here and a little bit over here. Got a little bit more to go, but now I can actually bring the machine in just a tad closer. The next step is probably going to be doing a lot of shaping with the shovel. And then maybe use the machine to pull that out, but I think for the most part we're looking pretty good. I think what I want to do is with all the stones that we have there and the stones that we have over here what I'd like to see in time is for us to build one massive waterfall over here in this area working our way up but first we need to shape this thing yep that's it for day one I'm beat all right, guys, this is what we got. I don't know what I got. Just trying to do a little bit of shaping here. So hopefully here in the next couple of days, this actually starts to make sense. But uh, not bad for day one. Got the wall cut. Got a lot of dirt dug out. And uh, I think we've got a lot more shaping to do. Oh, that was a lot of work today. Oh, that was a lot of work. That was a, that was a tough job. Sat in the chair and... Drink your drink. Things are looking a little bit better. As you can see, we got the whole top pretty much all scarfed off. Got off all those old nasty weeds that were up there. We did pretty good yesterday. Did some more shaping. Took it down a little bit deeper. I'm not quite sure what the end result is going to look like. But uh, I think we're off to a heck of a good start. Man, do I got a mess. Buddy of mine is going to be here tomorrow. We're actually going to grab this pile of dirt, redirect it to a different place within the property, fill in a whole bunch of low spots. But here we are. Obviously, the wall's cut out, and we've kind of cleaned up this top area over here, pulled out a lot of the unnecessary plants and weeds and grass and stuff that was just in the way, which is going to help us kind of shape this out. But uh, with that being said, you can see we went a little bit deeper. And I'm starting to, you know, cut into different areas and reshape stuff. It's looking kind of good, but uh, definitely a lot more shaping to do as the days go by. But we're going to have to jump on this bracket here real soon. That's one of the big things coming up. The other thing, too, is I've got to remove this pipe. This is kind of like a drain pipe that redirects water. Anytime water comes in, it kind of goes down the wall, goes through the wash stone right here, and then it migrates down through this, this cloth right here. And then that water weeps into this pipe. But we're going to cut that off. I'm going to probably make a, actually I started making a cut here yesterday. We're going to cut this off. We're going to put a cap there and then do the same over here because I need to get to this base right here because that angle iron is going to be mounted right here so we do not want that at all so that being said we're going to start working on the brackets that's coming up real soon that angle iron is going to go down over and back up and i believe we're going to be welding on i guess we can call them like little ears that go off the side to help mount that angle iron and then, obviously once that is in, there's going to be a sealant that brings the two items together, the angle iron and the, and the glass, probably a real thick bead of silicone, and then eventually the liner is going to work its way around. But we've got a lot more to do before that. All right, guys, just a quick update. We're moving this big old pile of dirt. I'm trying to clean up the driveway a little bit. Buddy of mine is over here with his bobcat, and we're going to redirect that dirt over to the far side here. Probably the same pile we uh, used about fall of last year when we were prepping for the garage. We had to remove all that topsoil. 
right there on the left. And as you can see, the garage is definitely starting to show its colors now. Trusses are up. A lot of the OSBs already been put on around the perimeter walls. And we even cut in two windows. So this is looking really good. I think we're kind of ahead of, ahead of schedule. And hopefully here in the next uh, 60 days, we're looking a lot better than where we're at right now, but that's that's well underway.